Hi there. Now we're going to talk about the word captivating. Okay, captivating. When you talk about something that is captivating, it means that it's very attractive. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's pretty. It's very attractive, and we say it's captivating. For example, you can say someone has a very captivating smile. Okay, and of course, if you are a lover of chocolate, if you love chocolate, you may say, "Well, this is really captivating." Well, I love chocolate. Well, the chocolate looks so captivating. Okay, and here you see this lady's lips. You may also say, "Wow, her lips are so captivating." Okay, but in this case,、uh, it means attractive, beautiful, and maybe also sexy, huh? Okay, and that's why you say, "Wow, her lips are captivating." Okay, so yep,、um, that's the word captivating, and of course we can say the、uh, we can see that the verb is captivate. To captivate is to attract. Okay. Usually there is something like a magic there. Okay. Of course, for example, you can say her smile captivated me, or you can say her smile captivated my heart. Okay. Attract. Okay, to attract, and it seems that there is something magical there. Okay, and of course, yeah, it comes from this word called captive, and a captive is usually a prisoner or someone who is caught. For example, someone who is caught in a war, or you may say an animal that is caught is also a captive. Okay, so if you are a prisoner of love, or if you are a prisoner of attraction, then you are captivated by love. You are captivated by that person, okay, because of his or her captivating smile or captivating voice. Then you become a captive of love. Okay. So is that clear for you? Hopefully, you won't be a captive of、uh, too much、uh, game playing. Okay, but if you want to be a captive of English learning, well, I would say that would be great. Why not? Okay, so much for captivating. See you next time. Bye.